Welcome back to our 18th video on PHP and MySQL. And in the last two videos, we talked about what arrays were and how we can create different types of them. In this video, I want to talk about array functions because arrays are not only an extremely powerful part of PHP, but they are probably one of the most common things we're going to come across as we build programs and create our databases and talk to our server and create content management systems, etc., etc. So follow along and we'll go ahead and create some array functions. And always keep in mind, if I can do this, you can do this. So here I go. <clears throat> here we go. I want to show you guys some common array functions that PHP has already compiled. And remember, functions are just mini programs. And don't worry about memorizing all of them because we can always go to php.net. I'm going to open up another tab. I'm going to type in php.net. And the first function I want to talk about is the count function. So just type in count, and here we go. So I guess it was created in PHP version 4 or 5. It's going to give us a description right here as well as an example down here. And okay, so php.net, if you guys need a quick briefing and get used to going on this because I'm on this all the time. So first things first is I'm going to go ahead and erase all this and create another array. And I'm just going to call this variable one and it's going to equal to an array and inside here I'm just going to create a scattered list of numbers I'm going to start with I don't know 23 Michael Jordan 0 4 Lou Gehrig 8 Steve Young 12 who's that Tom Brady let's get a high number Junior Sale rest in peace let's go um, Jerry Rice and who had a number in the 40s We'll go 43. I don't know whose number that is, but that was the number that MTV was growing up. So we'll stick with that. Okay, now I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to open up another PHP tags. Actually, I'm going to type in count first just into our HTML paragraph. Now I'm going to open up PHP tags. And what do I want to do? I want to echo the count of our variable that we just created. I want to close this out and I'm going to save this so it should equal count is a PHP function that counts all the elements inside an array so just from right here I could see that it's one two three four five six seven eight okay so I'm going to go to our PHP page I'm going to reload it count eight perfect okay it's working okay so what are some other <clears throat> array functions that we can create I'm going to go ahead and create a true false statement just to see if this is an array give it a little question mark because we're asking it a question and this PHP function is called is array and you have to type it is is underscore array and let it know what variable we're referring to and this is just asking it if it is array or not and in true or false in any programming language true equals one and false equals zero so this is an array because there's more than one entity in there so it should spit back a number one so I'm going to command save and I'm going to open this up command R perfect okay I'm going to create a line break right here There it is. Okay, so we have eight elements in our array, and then we asked if it, it was an array, and our browser knows that our variable had more than one entity in it or element in it, so it spit back that yes, it is an array, because in PHP or any programming language, one equals true and zero equals false. That's a Boolean statement. We'll talk about that in the next video, but hopefully you guys are following along um, accordingly, and you guys don't have any questions. But if you do, let me know, and we'll get them solved. So let's type in another array function. And this one, I'm going to type in max value function. And again, this isn't, this is not a true false statement. This is not a true or false. This is going to give us back the highest element in our array. So we're going to echo max. And we're going to close it out. And if there's a max value, there's got to be a minimum value. PHP echo min. Surprise, surprise. Uh-oh, where's the parentheses? Close it out. Doesn't matter if you have white space right there. I'll just give it another space to help differentiate where the closing tag ends. And what else do I want to do? I want to sort this out. I want this to be from 
zero all the way up to our highest number. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sort it ascendingly. If I can spell ascendingly correctly. Okay, so we're going to create opening PHP tags. I'm going to echo this. And to create it ascendingly to, to for our array to output into our browser ascendingly, the PHP function for this is called sort. <clears throat> and I'm also going to have to type in print. Anytime you want uh, an array to, to output all the elements inside of it, from whether it's ascendingly or descendingly, we need to type print. Print's an older, an older echo. Print was around before echo was, and echo is a lot easier to use, it's a lot more common, but print spits out every entity in an array so we can see it. And we're gonna close it out, and I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna reload it. Uh-oh, we need line breaks. I'm not learning from the last time. So br, br, we are, we don't need to put one on the last one because we're not doing anything after that. Okay, perfect. How many elements are in our array? Eight. Is it an array? Yes, it is. So one equals true. Our max value, I guess it was 80. I'm not sure. Yep, there was nothing higher than 80 in there. And our minimum value was obviously zero. And we, assort, we sorted our array ascendingly. So remember we talked about how every array starts at zero. Um, Remember, computers start counting at zero. It's us humans that start counting as one. So here we go. So our zero index equals zero. Our first index equals four. Our second index equals eight. Our third index equals 12. Our fourth index equals 23. Our fifth index equals 43. Sixth equals 55. And seventh equals 80. If we want to do this in reverse order, we'll just go back to our first.php file and put in an R before the sort right there. I'm going to go ahead and change this to descendingly. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm going to go ahead and reload it now. So it's sorted it descendingly. So 0 now is 80, 1 equals 55, 2 equals 43, and so on. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. But we just created five, we, we didn't create, but we just learned five PHP functions that are pretty common. I mean, you're going to see these as we go. And I hope you guys are following along, and I'll see you guys in the next video.